your visionary leadership could actually be destroying the progress of your team. Hey everybody, Michael here with Teams.Coach. And today I wanna to talk to you about the concept of green lights. Now, I've been talking about green lights way before Matthew McConaughey ever came out with the book Green Lights. So hang in there with me. I think that this is gonna be something that you connect with. HR Executive Magazine came out with a study that said this, that out of thousands of high-level leaders surveyed, over 76% of them during the last few years are experiencing burnout at certain levels. It could be a slightly burnout or complete absolute burnout, but somewhere in the middle of there, high level leaders are experiencing burnout at a higher rate than ever before. This has implications to it, which means that if high level leaders are burning out, it also means that their teams are burning out. And here's what I know as well, is that when high level leaders start to burn out, they start to reach for things that are outside of their reach. They get a little bit desperate and they start reaching for things and visionary things and dreaming of things that aren't necessarily practical. Here's the thing when it comes to green lights, is that I want to make sure that you're completely aware that I'm aware that you as a leader, you are responsible to be a visionary within your organization. Without a shadow of a doubt, if you don't have a vision for where your organization is going to go in the future, it's not going to go anywhere. So as I'm talking through green lights, you need to know this, is that I want to champion you as a visionary. As a visionary, I want to challenge you to master plan out your vision. Go ahead and grab the napkins and grab the pieces of paper. Go ahead and grab your post-it notes and your sticky notes and throw them on the wall and just map out what the big grand vision is. But don't separate yourself from what you're currently doing and what your team currently has. As a senior leader, you need to know that I'm aware that you actually have a responsibility to be the visionary of your organization. Without your vision, things don't really go anywhere. So you do have that responsibility, but you also have the responsibility to be able to take care of and manage the team that's been entrusted to you, to serve them well. When a leader chases after vision that's out of reach, and what I mean is out of reach, when a leader chases after a vision without the, the resources, the systems and the structures and the human resources to actually back it up, what ends up happening is that your team ends up burning out faster than ever. They become disenfranchised, not just in the work that they're doing, but they actually start to not trust the vision that you have. And so they move forward with that hesitation. They move forward with reluctancy. Your vision, it's incredibly important, but it's not more important than the health of your team. Here's the idea with green lights, is that as you're master planning your vision, you quickly identify the things that are next versus the things that are now. But the incentivization behind everything is that you create all of your focus and you bring your team into this concept to say, we are gonna collectively put all of our energy and all of our focus on the things that matter the most today before we give ourselves permission to think about the things that are coming up next. We are not going to release our emotional, our psychological, our spiritual, our physical energy on the things that aren't designed for now. We're gonna stay focused on the things that we're supposed to be working on now. So here's the concept with green lights. We've identified what the things are that are for now, right? We've established goals. We don't give anything a green light to move to the future until we accomplish these goals. So think about that. All the different things that are in the scope of your vision, those matter, that's significant. We want you to chase after your vision, but we want you to identify it so you know where to go, but we want you to identify it so you know what's important today. Identify what's important today, establish a green light, establish a goal that needs to be met before you give yourself permission and your team and your resources permission to chase down the things that aren't here yet.